Can Moho Animation compete with Adobe After Effects? And how so? Prepare yourself and let us dive into the video to get the answer. Environment and Features Starting with Adobe's product, After Effects, this digital software is dedicated mainly to visual effects, motion graphics, and compositing, which makes it very useful in the fields of animation, filmmaking, television, production, and video games. It provides a set of complex advanced features and tools to apply your imagination or improve the content quality of narrative videos, which you can also make from scratch, including adjustable effects, selection techniques, powered by automatic capacity, topography tools, support of 2D and 3D physics, audio syncing, and limitless control over relations between camera, layers, effects, and different elements. All this in a well-organized and customizable interface available in both Windows and Mac OS. It also integrates with other Adobe products by supporting different file formats to reduce time while working in multiple platforms, in addition to supporting extensions, scripts, and plugins which can be created by individual users in order to make working process easier and more flexible. After Effects also functions in media transcoding, audio, non-linear editing, making it essentially the Photoshop for movies. We don't of course forget the animation part, <laughs> unless why would we choose an animation software like Moho on this compared well, animation in After Effects focuses on advanced motion graphics by providing control over keyframes, movement smoothness and speed, audio automatic react, and the ability to merge separated animations, effects, and objects. There are also features in characters rigging and 3D animation, including the puppet tool and editing CGI elements. The support of plugins and scripts gives the capacity for users to not just minimize efforts, but to also avoid the use of multiple programs by offering alternative features features that that program lacks. All these characteristics let After Effects become an industry standard used by the largest media companies in the world like NBC and Disney, and highly required in the professional field for being involved in famous movies like Iron Man, leading it to win an Academy Award for scientific and technical achievements in 2019. Moho Animations, on the other hand, is built more for the purpose of rigging and animating 2D characters, in addition to a frame-by-frame -frame workflow. It provides a highly advanced rigging system that contains tools to adjust and manipulate simple, smart, Vitruvian, and automatic bones with advanced binding and dynamic options, in addition to natural effects that minimize efforts and give more life to high-quality animations, including liquid shapes, gravity, wind, shadows, motion blur, and common objects like rain and explosions. Moho also affords helpful tools to illustrate characters and objects in general. Its vector-based technology provides easy tools from pencils to shape editors in addition to a large array of diverse brushes to make more professional drawings easily. The software also offers camera control, audio syncing, masking, 3D physics, supporting PSD files, interface customization, integration with coding scripts, advanced layer management, and smart artistic filters, all available in both Windows and Mac. These features made Moho a great choice for independent artists and content creators like Cas Van Del Paul, not only among individuals, it could also enter in TV production and animation industry for being used by worldwide known studios like Cartoon Saloon and DreamWorks. Learning Curve when it comes to learning curves, both programs give a bit of a challenge to new users for their unique ways of working and the complex appearance they provide. Moho has very much its unique way of making animations and does not work exactly like any other digital art tool, so it may be more of a learning curve to get up to speed if you're coming from an Adobe background, but once you do learn it, it's possible to rig a character in Moho very quickly and efficiently. Although Moho's interface is more user-friendly, After Effects has a bigger community and more tutorials and tips sources for mostly every detail in Adobe software, which reduces obstacles against adapting it. Moho, on the other hand, is still provides official courses, ready-to-use content library and character wizards to learn better, in addition to a well-active community inside and outside Moho's forum. To conclude this section, it's really just a matter of time to learn and adapt both programs, so it's gonna be okay. Pros and Cons this section will be easy on Moho since the internet has decided that whatever Adobe is or whatever it does, eh, there was gonna be complaints. 
Uh, seriously though, since After Effects has a larger set of tools and features, uh, its requirements for a good work environment are tougher, meaning that performance lag and resource consumptions may increase on lower end hardware, especially when using multiple effects or dealing with high resolution assets or complex compositions. Moho gets a point on this issue for being generally lighter on system resources, more accessible to users with less powerful hardware, in addition to imposing some settings to avoid common lags. But it still loses the features competition against against After Effects, since this latter is built for more than animation as a multifunctional software. Also, its popularity and stronger support of third-party integrations make it capable of even affording alternatives to Moho's unique features thanks to the huge number of plugins and scripts there are. Another issue is that it's really gonna depend on the user's view on the next section, which is pricing. After Effects, as the rest of the Adobe products, is only available as part of the Creative Cloud membership. You can choose a single app plan with After Effects only or a plan that includes more apps. It offers a subscription-based pricing model with several plans including a monthly pay that costs $31.94 and if you go by the annual plan it's gonna cost you around $20.99 or you can choose paying $239.88 per year for the entire thing. In addition to a 7-day free trial, once you check out with the ability to cancel without fees before 14 days of use. Keep in mind, these prices can be subject to change depending on when you watch this video. Moho, on the other hand, has one-time purchase offers including two versions with the latest Moho 14 update, Moho Pro with the price of $399.99 and Moho Debut with around $60. This latter contains limited access to advanced professional features, but it can be upgraded to the professional version by paying $339.99. Essentially, you just pay the difference to upgrade. Moho also provides a 30-day free trial as a downloadable demo version before doing any further purchase steps. Moho's one-time pricing method may be cheaper in the longer run than an Adobe subscription, but it still depends on the user's needs and capabilities. Final verdict. It's not difficult to decide the result of this comparison after we saw that each software has advantages over the other. Adobe After Effects would be the absolute winner as a multi-purpose program, especially for people who are more interested in experimenting with various content creation fields. But when it comes to animation only, Moho takes a higher point since it's dedicated to this field, and so it provides better and stronger features and tools that Adobe After Effects may lack. However, we should not forget that it still depends on the user's preferences. In short, After Effects is a good choice for those who are interested in giving more professional effort on their work with the ability to integrate with other elements, while Moho is better for those who focus on mastering 2D animation and character rigging in a simple and professional way. And we are finally here. This comparison was not so hard, but yet, we would like to hear your opinion. Do you have any experience with these programs to share with us? And what advice can you add about them? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're at it, honor us by hitting the like and subscribe buttons to support us to make more content. So, see you in the next video!